Welcome to day two of our Every Nation Family's Global Consecration Week. It's time to seek God, fast and pray, and dedicate the rest of the year to Him. As we do this, I believe God will meet us and reveal to us amazing things. Our series this year is entitled Awesome God, and to add to the reasons why our God is awesome. Today, we will talk about His unchanging character. Let's read from Hebrews chapter 6, verses 17 and 18. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise, the unchangeable character of his purpose, he guaranteed it with an oath, so that by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to hold fast to the hope set before us. You know, there's a saying that the only thing constant in life is change. The year that was 2020 saw our very lives change in a way none of us ever expected or prepared for. We can each look at our individual lives and see the many ways it has changed just in the past year. We can look at our respective families, churches, our government, society. So much has changed. Some we may have hoped for, others definitely not. The question is this, if life is constantly changing and we are thrown a curveball, how do we stay the course and continue to walk with God, pursuing His plans and purpose for us? You know, the text we read is part of a set of verses that reference the time God gave Abraham a promise and fulfilled it. We know the story, 25 years Abraham waited for Isaac, but he got the fulfillment of the promise. And in the two verses we read, we see how and why that promise came to be and why we ourselves can hold on to the promises we have from God. Hebrews 6, 17 shows us the two things God did. The original conversation he had with Abraham was recorded in Genesis 22. First, God gave a promise. A promise is always synonymous to the word of the person giving it. And when God gave the promise, God gave his word. Let me ask you, what are the promises of God you are holding on to? Brothers and sisters, those promises are not mere words. They're God's word. And because they're God's word, that implies a weight like no other. Now back to Hebrews. We see the second thing God did. God made an oath. He seconded the promise he gave Abraham with an oath. It means God guaranteed his promise. You know, in ancient days, the giving of an oath had legal implications. It was, it was like an appeal to a higher authority. So when two parties had a dispute, an appeal was made and a higher authority gave an oath that settled the dispute. The swearing of oath had to do with the fallen condition of humanity, I suppose. We couldn't trust the word of another person, so a higher authority was needed. Now, when God gave the promise to Abraham, the Bible says he had no one greater by whom to make an oath, so he swore by himself. In essence, it was like a double promise. There was just no way out. That promise was as good as a done deal. Hebrews 6.18 says, These things are unchangeable. The purpose of God and the word He gave to affirm it. Why is that? Because it is impossible for God to lie. The Bible says in Numbers 23 verse 19, God is not a man that He should lie. You see, the very foundation on which the promises of God stand is the character of God. It is who He is. Yesterday, we talked about the transcendence of God, how God is above all creation, that His power and might is beyond anything we can comprehend. You see, God is above all creation, yes, in power, in might. You know, the other area He is above all creation in is in His character. Because He is who He is, we can trust His word. We can trust His promises. We can be assured that His purpose and His character do not change just like that. Now, what does that mean for us? At the beginning, we asked, we asked this question. If life is constantly changing, how do we continue to walk with God, pursuing His plans and purpose for our lives? The answer is this. We hold on to that which doesn't change. And in a world that is always changing, only one thing remains certain. God is unchanging. The unchanging character of our God is the anchor we need to hold on to so our faith may be secure. Friends, we can trust 
and put our full confidence in the God of the universe who loved us and gave his all for us. The God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So today, let's come before him in confident assurance that our faith rests on solid ground. Why don't we pray? Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you that we can always be assured that our faith stands secure, that it stands on firm foundation because you, our God, are unchanging. And Lord, I pray that you would give your people, especially in this season, a deeper revelation of who you are and the unchanging character of the God we serve, the God who loves us and gave his all for us. Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.